One of the extraordinary personages of show business is uh, a new star on the Channel 11 group of uh, entertainment programs this year. Uh, my guest today is Kreskin, who bills himself as a mentalist, the amazing Kreskin. Well, we have had him as a guest on radio and TV in the past. He was in town recently for a personal appearance, so we, knowing that he was going to be on our roster this year, we naturally wanted to renew acquaintances and find out how he could put that kind of a program on TV. Ordinarily, Kreskin, you are doing live performances. You were at the Brown Theater last right. year, which is r newly renamed to the Macaulay, and you broke it up, and you had two performances, I think, on the same night. But uh, now you do, and I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to call it a trick or a stunt, but you do certain mentalist uh, performances that kind of defy what we know as uh, the law of nature or, or the law of the mind. Probably, Milt, because we really don't uh, know that much about the workings of the mind. I, uh, I'm, not, I'm glad you didn't call me a psychic because, as you well know, and we discussed it before, I don't foretell a future. I don't come on camera, you know, and say uh, the stock market in two years is likely to go up because uh, I can't foresee that and it's likely to take place anyway. I'll tell you, it's regarding the program, which is a thrill, because it's something that's always been a dream of mine. I outlined the programs I'm doing all oh, about 15 years ago when I had envisioned someday wanting to do a television series. And to have them come about to fruition is, is very, very exciting. Uh, each program has a celebrity guest or some special person on the program. As a matter of fact, on the series that will be seen here in the area, on a show coming up, a gentleman is going to come on who was a member of a safe company. Now, I've never done this in public in my life. And he will change, he's agreed to do this, he will change the combination of the safe while the studio is emptied and under guard. He will do this before the program so that when the program goes on the air and it comes to that segment, which is usually the end of the show, he will be the only person alive who knows the combination of the safe. Uh, unless he changes his mind, Mill, what's going to happen is that he's agreed to climb into the safe and have the door slammed on him and concentrate on the combination while he is in the safe, the only one alive knowing it, and I'll attempt to open it. That, to me, is a slightly dramatic kind of test, even in this area. Of <laughs> well, it seems to me the test is all on his side, though. <laughs> Not at yours. You know, the amazing thing is, he said to me, he says, Kreskin, we called him, and I said, now listen, you understand the ramifications. What's the air supply? It's very limited. I guess it's around 15 minutes on the uh, at the onset outset. And uh, we said, well, we got to have a drill or something to protect you. He said, don't worry, Kreskin, I, I know you can do it. <laughs> I've seen you on television before. But uh, that kind of situation, uh, I, of course, can't get, I don't get to do on many on talk shows because not too many hosts of talk shows would have the comfort of going into a safe that wouldn't be transparent. Well, for instance, say I have a lockbox in the bank where I have a few modest papers, you know, I know you say modest. Yes, my graduation roses, you know, <laughs> my first date. Well, you know, insurance policies and things like that. And $5 million in... Uh, oh, well, that's in, what I wanted to get to for the <laughs> sake of the income tax. Now, people, for instance, no. would it be possible for you to determine what the number of my box is? I think if I, uh, uh, in a, uh, you know, if I set up a little bit of a rapport and had you concentrate, something like this, is within the nature of, of my series. Every program mill will partly deal with the audience in which and that's that's what happens in my regular concerts. It's really a camera coming into the doorways of the theater, coming onto the stage and uh, peering into what happens in my regular concerts, of course, in a compartmentalized situation because of time. Uh, the interesting thing is I found the secret of my series from my concerts People at home watching me on television identify with those in the studio audience whom I'm working with. If someone stands up and I tell them a social security number or uh, the gal they were with last, that they visited, right. or went out with last night, providing they weren't married. Uh, people at home will think to themselves, my gosh, if I'm there sitting in a studio audience, that could happen to me. And the mail shows it. So it adds a great deal of conviction. But the use of a celebrity guest later on, uh, William Shatner, uh, adds further con conviction. He has agreed to uh, have me attempt to read his thoughts while he is in the studio. Are you not afraid that some of this might not come off? Yes. And for, for if it happened perhaps a half hour after the program was over, in other words, 
what if things don't click just at the time the cameras are rolling? Here's our decision, Milt, and it's a, I argued very strenuously with my staff who followed me around the country for about a month so that they got a feel of the style of which I work. In spite of the quality that it will do to the program if such a thing takes place, we've decided to do the show live on tape in this sense of the word. But the program runs about, I guess, because of commercials, which are important. Uh, necessary but important because without them we'd have the kind of programs, I think, that are in other parts of the world that aren't, aren't especially good in spite of the lack of commercials. They don't have the same quality in content and I suppose in styling and, and uh, production. But if something fails on the program, it will be kept on the show. Consequently, and I think we can admit it, I've taped a, pre a few programs already. Uh, I tape them about uh, three or four weeks ahead of time. Kreskin, what's the most amazing to you thing that you have done? But even aside from that, tests have failed. Yes. Uh, I think one of the most uh, dramatic tests that I've ever done in my life was uh, a test in which Jane Withers came on the program and agreed to call any human being in the world. She called her mother 3,000 miles away on telephone on the show, and I attempted to read her thoughts. I had never met her in my life. The first time I spoke to her is after Jane Withers picked up the phone and had her mother in Los Angeles. That was a dramatic test. Did you read her mind to that extent? I'll have to see the program along with you and your <laughs> listeners to find out, Milt. Kreskin, if somebody who didn't know you from another world came here and said, you know, Kreskin, uh, what do you do? How would you describe yourself? I probably would describe myself uh, as a person who works with the, in the realm of the mind and kind of harnesses other people's thoughts in a dramatic way. But I have a feeling if they came here from another world and I said this to them, They'd look back upon me and think of me as an outright amateur compared to what they've accomplished. If they're ahead of us. Anyone who could come this far would probably find uh, Star Trek and Outer Limits <laughs> just kind of a sampling of their everyday life. Kreskin, when you go out with a young lady, do you know what's in her mind? <laughs> and I, if I did, Mel, <laughs> if I did, I would say no, even if I you know, knew I could. But generally speaking, uh, no. Not unless she sits on my left and walks, uh, stands on my left and walks with me. Because in all my concerts, my check is hidden by the audience, as you know, and if I fail to find it, I forfeit my fee. And when I look for my check, the subject stands and follows me on my left. Consequently, when I'm on a date, and it's the only quirk in my life, she's always on my right. Perhaps I should have asked you, does the young lady know what's on your mind? <laughs> I'm afraid she does, Bill, because my, in spite of my work, I happen to be what some people call an open book. <laughs> well, you're a delightful fellow, too. And nope. you're going to make Tuesday nights at 7.30 on Channel 11 uh, a great experience. Well, thank you. I, ho I hope that you will look in and your listeners and uh, be the good Lord willing. I'll try to live up to your remarks. Thank you very much. The amazing Kreskin. And um, you'll be seeing him often, every week on Channel 11, but especially we're pleased to have had him on Amit this morning. My Thank friend. you, old friend. Thank you.